Hello and welcome to another week of EdTech 501. During this week, we'll explore and talk about our first memory of an educational technology. You'll work on defining one of the elements of the current definition of educational technology. And then we'll talk a little bit about professional learning networks and how you can get involved. So let's get started. As you know, every course starts with the learning objectives. So during this week, you're going to identify and discuss your first memory of an educational technology, and that will be in a discussion forum setting. You'll analyze the elements of educational technology, one of the elements, and write about it on your learning log. And finally, we will identify some social and online tools that you can use to get started or help grow your professional learning network. The first assignment I call Elements of Educational Technology. Here's the current definition of educational technology, and if you ever want to stop the video and take time to read it, please feel free to do so. It's a pretty concise definition. In this assignment, you're going to select one of the 13 elements and just think more deeply about it. Why is it important to you? And what is your perspective on this particular issue? And why is it important in this definition of current definition of educational technology? You can either write that in Google Docs or you can just write directly to your learning log. If you do create a new post on your learning log, just remember as you're writing, click save. You don't have to publish it right away, but just remember to save it. So that way you'll have it when you go back and you want to work on editing it. Next, you're going to participate in a peer evaluated discussion forum called First Memory. This is always a lot of fun because you have to think back, hmm, what's my first memory of an educational technology? So I think you'll enjoy that and you'll find a good image, I know, of your first memory. Finally, we'll talk a little bit about professional learning networks. What are they? How do you get started in them? I have a list, a Google Bookmarks list I'm starting to, I'm, I started and I keep adding to it. And then also we'll talk about other social networks that you can use to get going. So that's it in a nutshell. This next week will be first memories, defining an element of educational technology, and starting to think about your professional learning network. Welcome to another week.